So in this shot you can actually see um, we're just starting the lightning boy build. Um, just starting to uh, to measure things up here um, against uh, the fretboard that I got from MRWS. It's uh, Blackwood and the uh, and the box. And here finally I've got my mid ruler. I had to run run over and go and grab that. And uh, now cutting it out. So cutting it into two pieces. Um, you can see here I'm just about to do the notch there, and that goes inside the box. I'm using the uh, the, uh, the sand here, the belt sander, to um, just smooth things out, get things rounded off nicely, and also do the heel. Now in this case, I'm just double checking, making sure that I've got the right amount of length for the tenon inside the box. Uh, we're clamping it down onto the table and uh, getting just measuring it up now to, to do the three screw holes that I do and also glue this joint as well you'll see later on um, so I countersink those screws they don't go anywhere that's once it's all glued up and screwed in they don't go on anywhere uh, here we're just uh, just putting in a new bit into the router and uh, rounding up the uh, the neck profile I do find using the router it's um, it's easier on my shoulder sanding now, tidying things up a bit, rounding the edges and uh, just smoothing things all over there really, getting the edges there just at the edges where the um, where the router stops and here we're just putting in the um, the machine head holes and the recess that I do and uh, I've got a little picture here coming up that'll just show the recess uh, that I do there. I forgot to film that bit, sorry. And here you can see I'm just drilling those uh, 10 mil holes using a brad point bit, I think it's called that. And just tidying the holes up with a sharp chisel. And here we're... Uh... Can't remember what I was doing there. What are we doing now? I'm oh, gluing on the fretboard. So I'm just gluing all of that up. And uh, about to put the clamps on. Grab the clamps. Shop's a bit of a mess at the moment. This was an interesting angle that I got. I'm not really seeing it from the top, seeing the clamps from the bottom there. I had to readjust because um, the, uh, the fretboard wasn't quite straight. And um, I don't know. What have I done? Oh, that's right. The uh, things were all finished up there. Now we're just working on the box, getting taking the paper out of the inside of the box and putting in, um, just cutting a little bit of... Um, a uh, little bit of strengthening on inside the box there, a little bit of a frame which I'll finish off a little bit later at the front and the back and a stain that's got a it'll have a couple of coats of um, tongue oil alright so here we've got the um, the layout for the uh, I suppose the, the, the pickup harness um, got an output jack just here which is a switchcraft jack We've got two mini CTS pots on this particular build. I'm trying the mini pots because it just there's a little bit more room on the inside. Uh, I've found that the um, the large CTS pots are a little cumbersome inside the small area of the box. But we'll see what happens with the with the mini CTS pots. I actually quite like those. You can see we've got the uh, the capacitor here. You can see we've got the capacitor there wired up. It's all earthed. Now, the one thing that's missing at the moment is an earth wire. That's going to be the last thing that we'll um, that we'll actually um, solder, and that's going to get soldered to the um, to the volume pot, and then that will lead up through the uh, the tenon under um, uh, through the uh, and into the uh, onto the underside of the of the bridge steel bridge and that'll earth the strings.